introducing the airlift procedure for obstructive sleep apnea. When we sleep, our airway muscles become more relaxed and can collapse inward, which can lead to airway obstruction and obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. For most OSA, the collapse involves both the base of the tongue as well as the side walls of the airway on either side of the tongue. The human airway is a complex structure made up of many muscles, ligaments, and their connections to the bones that surround the airway. One very important bone that supports the airway is the horseshoe-shaped hyoid bone that surrounds the airway and plays an important role in keeping the airway open. The tongue and many of the muscles that support the airway behind and to the sides of the tongue are connected to the hyoid bone. Doctors treating sleep apnea discovered that lifting and suspending the hyoid bone created tension in the airway muscles and helped prevent airway collapse, a sort of facelift or airlift for your airway. Until now, doctors didn't have a way to lift and suspend the hyoid bone in a simple and easily controlled procedure. Siesta Medical has developed the ideal system of implants and instruments for performing hyoid suspension. The procedure begins with a small incision under the chin. Two very small suture anchors are placed under and behind the chin so that they cannot be felt. A second small incision is made directly over the hyoid bone and the hyoid bone is located and secured. The Revolution Suture Passer, which simplifies passing sutures, is used to place two loops of suture around the hyoid bone. These are then attached with girth hitches and passed through to the first incision. The sutures are then threaded into the suture anchors using preloaded threaders. With the head in a neutral position, the hyoid bone is advanced and suspended to the mandible with the suture anchors. With the Encore's suture anchors, the position of the hyoid bone can be easily controlled and adjusted at a later date. Backup knots are tied with the tails of the sutures and the sutures are trimmed. The incisions are then closed. Most patients can eat a normal meal after the procedure and discomfort is usually minimal. The airlift procedure is completely reversible and removable. In some cases, lifting and suspending the base of the tongue in addition to the hyoid bone may be needed to further open the airway. Through the same incision used for hyoid suspension, a third suture anchor is placed in the mandible and a stitch is placed in the base of the tongue with the Encore suture passer. The suture is then exchanged for a specifically designed suspension suture and threaded into the third anchor. The suture is then tensioned, lifting and supporting the tongue and locked to the anchor. Backup knots are then tied with the tails of the suture and the suture is trimmed and the incision is closed.